Tyler D'Souza. And I'm Mallory Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of SBTV. This week was packed with news, as this week was Mental Health Awareness Week. There was a lot of uh, great activities going on, and I'm, I hope you guys learned something, because I know I did. Um, this week was also Catholic Education Week, with events every morning, like the races, the balloon toss, the marshmallow towers, and cookies were distributed to every student. <laughs> Now, uh, with all the news we have to cover today, we're going to toss it over to uh, Aviva and Lucas with Arts and Sports News to get the ball rolling. So, Saints, on May 1st, we had a spring concert featuring a police band, and we actually got a video of it, so let's check it out. Hey, Saints, my name is Nero Zapatero, and today I am at the spring concert. Let's check it out. This is what sleeve. I got the sheets on the floor, nothing on me. And I can't take it no more, so I'm just so what is a spring concert? The spring concert is a celebration of everything we work for all year long. And it is a way for all of us to play together and you'll hear the jazz band and the concert band tonight and our grade 9 and grade 10 classes. So it's just a great celebration with everybody on stage. That's great. And especially this year we did a collaboration with the police band. And we practiced with them, we're doing two numbers with them. One was Bohemian Rhapsody and the other is Lady Gaga. So how did you think your guitar class did? They were fantastic. Many of them were first time uh, performing and I couldn't be any prouder. They're amazing. So what was your favorite performance tonight? You know, I really loved all the classes. Um, I just was so excited to see how hard they worked and all the effort they put in at least this semester for sure. Some of the seniors were fantastic. That jazz band started off great. The guitar class was fan uh, fantastic as well. I'm just so overwhelmed by all the great performances. Great job, St. Benedict's. Did you enjoy the performance tonight? Absolutely. I thought it was an amazing performance both by the Waterloo Band and also by the school band. I think the collaboration with all both bands together was amazing. And what was your favorite performance tonight? 500 something something, a lot of syllables. And what was your favorite performance? I don't know. So what did you think of the police band tonight? Oh, I think they were amazing. You can really tell how hard they worked. So how do you think you did tonight? I think everyone thing went pretty well. Uh, my solo, I killed it. And all the bands just did amazing, so it was a great night. I think I did pretty well. So how's it like playing alongside with the police band? I think it was a really great experience. I'm so happy that I got the opportunity. Well, Saints, that was such an extraordinary night with a bunch of music and talent. I'm Nuno Sabatero and I'm logging off. Coffee House is next Wednesday, and the admission fee is $2. It's also the last Coffee House of the year, so be sure to make it out to see all the talent our school has. Speaking of the talent our school has, let's talk about rugby. So as Aviva said, we're going to talk about rugby now, and we have a video to show you on it, so let's check it out. Hey Saints, this is Zachary I'm reporting for SBTV, and today I'm at the Junior Boys Rugby game. Right now they are currently facing SJAM, and with the season out 1-1-2. One, one, Hopefully they can bring the Saints back another win, so let's go check it out. All right, so I'm here with Mr. Uh, Mr. Reitzel, the rugby uh, junior boys rugby coach. So how do you think you guys are doing this season? Oh, we've done exceptional this year. We've had a lot of close games. Every game we've played has been uh, within one score. Uh, you know, we've come out on the wrong end a couple times, but the boys have played excellent, excellent rugby. And how do you think you guys are going to do your very last game? I think we're going to push WCI. Uh, we're going to push them right to the end. They're undefeated so far, but uh, as we showed against SJM earlier this week, we can take on any team. All right, we got good possession and, and solid team defense. We can compete with anybody in the league. Yeah, for sure, Mr. Wright. So, go Saints, go! So Saints looks like the boys had a tough loss, but they represented uh, the Saints just like any other one would, with class and respect. So, till next time, Saints, this has been Zach Rarimo, and I'm logging off. If you haven't had the chance to go out and see them, the team play, then keep your ears open for their next game and go show their, the support, Saints. Now, in other sports news, 
Boys soccer team beat St. David's 5-1. Shout out to Jay Beer with a hat trick. And varsity girls had a tough loss 2-1 against St. David's. Now on Monday, come on out after school and watch the team play against St. Mary's and go show your support. That's all the news we have for today. And back to the desk. Yep. Thanks, Lucas. Um, so this week was also National Arts Week, and an event that was held for National Arts Week was Louder Than a Bomb Canada, which is a spoken word competition. Um, last night, Benny's spoken word team competed in uh, Hamilton to compete at the Louder Than a Bomb Canada preliminaries. Our team consisted of Emma Fritz, Andrew Newen, Mackenzie Cool, Haley Wright, Tegan McKenzie, and Rian Bachter. Congratulations to the team, and a special congratulations to Mackenzie, because she was asked to be a feature performer at the finals tomorrow. Now, uh, on the topic of spoken word, we have a special guest with us. It's Miss Rocha, the coach of our Louder Than a Bomb team. So uh, we're going to ask her a couple questions to learn a little bit about spoken word. Um, so, Miss Rocha, what is spoken word? Well, spoken word is a type of performance poetry where an individual will write about something that they're really passionate about. They add some literary devices, they urbanize it a bit, add some rhythm, add some beat, and they perform it for an audience. Thank you. Uh, so uh, could you tell us a little bit more about our spoken word team here at Benny's? Yeah, for sure. Um, we started out with spoken word as a unit in drama class, and we decided this year we were going to host a Benny Slam. And in that slam, it's a competition, and we had 11 performers compete. And the top six that won that slam were invited to represent Benny's at the Louder Than a Bomb competition, Canada competition. And um, the audience was thrilled. We had a packed house in the cafe, and I've only heard uh, excellent feedback, and everybody was really inspired to hear um, young people voicing things that they're really passionate about. Well, thank you, Ms. Rocha. Um, make sure to check out Spoken Word in the next years to come. Next up, we have some SAC news for you guys. First up in SAC news, prom tickets will, be, will continue to be sold in the SAC office at lunch next week. For any grade 12s bringing a guest not in grade 12, so in the younger grade, or someone who doesn't go to this school can buy their tickets next week. Make sure you have both your forms, uh, both your picture ID, and money for your tickets. Also, sign-ups for the dance showcase are up on room on the door of room 104. All the information, information is posted on the door, and all dance styles are welcome. There are no auditions, so come out, guys. Uh, that's all, we, all the news we have for today. This episode has been brought to you by Mr. Demos Comtech Class and the crew of SBTV. I'm Mallory Thompson. And I'm Tyler D'Souza, signing, signing off. off. What's the news? Uh, there's so much you know, there's so many things this uh, there's week. So many things. Is this is gonna be a regular segment. This is so many weeks. Oh my god, all the there's weeks. One, three weeks in one week. I wasn't here last week. I wasn't here last week either. Oh my god, where were we? Oh my god, you were in Florida, but I just was sick sometimes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wasn't here last week for like the show because I was at a thing. Oh my god, news. Sing. Wait, wait, what's this? What's this called? This is Bye. chill news. Mountain. So uh I had brownie last night, but it was a normal brownie.
That's and it was sad. real chill. <laughs> what? It was a homemade brownie. And, and that's the chill news. Of and it was real. It was 100% chocolate. My director gave it to me, so you know. It has to be close. How do you, nice close, how do you close the chill news? Chill news is just... That's chill See? news with Mal Thai. <laughs> <laughs>